Okay, so we're just going to look at some of your basic log rules. So this is log A plus log B. Now considering logs are indices, when you add logs, um, you add basically your times in the number, if they have the same base, and these have the same base. When you're subtracting them, that means you're subtracting the indices, so you must be dividing. So when you're adding indices, you're multiplying the numbers, but when you're subtracting indices, you're dividing the numbers. Now, when you have a power like this, you can bring the number down to the front. Now, the reason that happens is it's basically it's following the multiplication rule because you've got A times A times A, and you're doing that N times. So that means you've got a lot add, add, the in, add them up because you're adding the indices. So if you add the logs of those, that would be N lots of log A. Because it's like having 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, 5 times would be 5 lots of 3. So this is log A plus log A plus log A dot 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 log A. And we're doing that N times. Okay, so we're just going to apply these rules to these questions. So if we look at this, you can't simplify that as one whole log unless you bring that indice of 2 up. So that's log A2 squared plus log A18 minus log A9. So that's log a, 2 squared is 4, times 18, minus log a, 9. So log a, 4 times 18, is 72, minus log a, 9. So now that's minus, so it's division, so it's 72 on 9, which is log a, 8. Okay, and that's pretty simple. All right, if you look at this one here, um, so what you've got to do is you've got to break this up. So you break that four up, see that's two. So I could make that log seven, two to the two, bring the indice down, so that's log seven, two. So it's two lots of log seven. But what is log seven? Um, what's log two, base seven? Sorry, I'm just going to get another highlighter color. So you can see that, um, sorry, log 2 with a base 7 will be equal to um, 0 0.36. Uh, so 2 times 0.36 is 0 0.72. So this one's log 7 base 10. So you can split that to 2 times 5. And then because it's multiplication, we can add them. Okay, so log 2 is 0.36 plus log 5 is 0.83, so 0.36 plus 0.83 equals 1.19. Okay, this is log 7, so 20, that's 4 times 5, so you could write it as log 7 of 2 times 2 times 5, so it's, you could do it as log 7 um, of 2, log 7 of 2, plus log 7 of 5. You could have also done that as 2 lots of, that's 2 lots of log 7, 2. That's another way of looking at it. Like you could have done it as log 7, 4, plus log 7, 5, and then you make that log 7, 2 squared, plus log 7, 5, and bring the 2 down. So you get 2 lots of log 7, 2. Okay, so log 7, 2, is equal to 0.36 and log 75 is 0.83 and then you just put that in your calculator and evaluate it. Now when you're doing log 7 of 0.4 you need to make it a fraction so it's 4 tenths so that's log 7 2 on 5 so log 7 2 on 5 that would be log 7 2 minus log 7 5 Log 7.2 is 0.36, log 7.5 is 0.83, so 0.36 minus 0.83 is minus 0.47. Okay, so simplifying this one. So step one would be to bring these indices up. So that's log base A of B to the 4 to the 3 minus log base A of B to the minus 2 to the 2. 
So that's log base A of B to the 12 minus log base A of B to the minus. 2 times 2 is minus 4. So that's log base A of B to the 12. Now because that is a minus, then you divide by the other one. Okay, because you're subtracting the indices. So that's log base A of B to the 12 minus minus 4, which will equal log base A of B to the 12 minus minus 4 is B to the 16.